let's talk about isotopes and how do we find the information about isotopes. Isotopes are just um, more atoms of the same element that have only changed their number of neutrons, which in exchange increases or may decrease the atomic mass. So let's look at magnesium. Some of them have already been done for us. Magnesium 24. That 24 tells you how much mass that isotope has. So we already know that. The atomic number, we would have to go into our periodic table, find magnesium on the periodic table. And let's take a look at ours here. Magnesium is here. And our periodic table says that the atomic number for magnesium is 12. So we're going to go ahead and magnesium has an atomic number of 12, so it has 12 protons. Now, how do we decipher that there was supposed to be 12 neutrons? We say 24 minus 12, right? The mass minus the protons equals the neutrons. So 24 minus 12 equals 12. So again, if you take a look at this, magnesium 25, that 25 tells us the mass. Okay, again, we know that there are 12 protons because when we look at the periodic table, magnesium has an atomic number of 12. Atomic number tells us how many protons there are. So we take our 25, which was our atomic mass. We subtract the number of protons, oops, I'm sorry. Subtract the number of protons, which was 12, which will give us 13, 13 neutrons. So let's do this one, magnesium 26. 26 here tells us how much mass there is. Again, the atomic number tells us how many protons there are. In this case, magnesium has 12 protons because the atomic number is 12. To find the number of neutrons, I take the atomic mass, I subtract the numbers of protons, which will give me the number of neutrons. So I have 14 neutrons in magnesium 26. Let's do carbon. Carbon-12, the name of the element is carbon. So we're just going to go ahead and do these three together here. All of them are carbon. And if we find carbon on the periodic table, which is right here, carbon's element symbol is C, or I'm sorry, is C. And if we look at the same time while we're looking here, we might as well go and see what is the atomic number. The atomic number is also 6. So let's go back. We have our symbol is C. And we just found out that our atomic number is 6. So they have, all have 6 protons. Now how do we find out the mass for each isotope? We look at the number that follows the element's name. Carbon-12. That will have 12 for the mass. Carbon 13 will have 13 for the mass. Carbon 14, that means it has a mass of 14. Now when we look at the number of neutrons, we, take, we find that by taking the mass, which in this case for carbon 12 is 12. We subtract 6, which is the number of protons. 12 minus 6 gives us 6 neutrons. Carbon-13 has a mass of 13. Subtract 6 protons, that gives us 7 neutrons. Carbon-14 has a mass of 14. Minus 6 protons gives us 8 neutrons. Let's do one more together. Let's do carbon, I'm sorry, let's do oxygen. Let's first find oxygen on our periodic table. Here is oxygen. Oxygen's mass on the periodic table is 15.994, which it would be rounded up to 16. The symbol is O, and the atomic number 
is eight. Since the atomic number is eight, that means we have eight protons in each of these atoms, each of those isotopes. So let's go ahead and fill in our element name. Let's fill in our symbol. Okay. Our mass is again represented by the number following the name of the element. So we can go ahead and fill in our mass for each one of these. How do we find neutrons? We take the mass minus the protons, giving us neutrons. Mass, so sorry, this time's going to be 17, minus 8 equals 9. And 18, the mass minus the protons, gives us neutrons. 